Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. Aha. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Oh man, I hadn't thought about that. If they followed us, they could be in trouble. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation, and then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> Toss it here! Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Boy, I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say... That's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Yep. Hope that fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. Oh, big words, Jesse.
You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a waterfall! On that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. Ah, stick with me, guys. Creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkin. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? We should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees, we can cut those down. Good plan. And now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Oh, dog, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, I didn't take I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness if... Uh, what the? Hi! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late and make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude! We're not the host of whatever this is. Sorry. We're just here to hide from the sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. 
In case you hadn't noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sup. And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got like nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? Are you saying that with a Z? <laughs> yeah, I actually have no idea who you are. Oh, really? Like, no idea? Like, none? Nope, sorry, but uh, my name's Jesse, and that over there is Lucas and Petra and Ivor. Charmed. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of <laughs> loser patrol? Twerk dog. Oh, come on, that was hilarious. Ha! Ah, that's a good one. You... you are very funny, I, uh, dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some six snackage and bounce, you know? But, uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever just try and look on the bright side wait how many more people are in this place counting us seven mm-hmm most of them useless I tell you what the minute all them weird zombies are gone <sighs> torque dog is out of here okay so the sea of zombies isn't normal it's good to hear two moons is normal though right um the moons uh, yeah why don't you know about this stuff you from, like, out of town or something? What the hell? Did you hear that? Something <laughs> 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 my butt! Who my butt! I think it's stopped. Well, what's up with the lights? Everyone died for cover! <gasps> hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Uh. Uh. Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... I that poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, this is inventory, everywhere. How did that, who, one minute he's alive, the next, gone, poof. I know, that was absolutely awful. We were talking like a second ago, and then suddenly he's full of arrows. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is, why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Mm. Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Wait, you ever seen them used like this before? In a trap like this? No way. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, 
Yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um... Okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. This is so ridiculously creepy. Right? At first I was like, oh cool, fan art, flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays. Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Well, someone brought us here for a reason. Including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Please, I'm not scared. I faced way worse than some creepy house. Yeah, maybe we should try to be a bit more courageous here. That's the spirit. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst, Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's gotta know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're gonna be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating, then. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torque Dog was... you know. 
You guys have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet, but Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. True that. That's a good idea, Lucas. Thanks. I'm gonna keep asking around about Torque Dog. Good luck. Yes. Happy investigating. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep. Hi. That's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh. Gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but what? Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally. But I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. <laughs>